Hello and welcome to Diehards United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. The squad is traveling for preseason tour of the USA this evening. And let's talk about the players that make those 29 man squad. Also, we talk about some transfer news coming out this evening. There's no more transfer news coming out today, but we're going to talk about why haven't we sold enough players already in this summer transfer window. And we are picking players that are meant to that we probably need to sell to take to go on top, which means we're going to be on top for the next two weeks. How are we going to sell these players if they are going to be on top with us in the USA? Does that hinder any future sale of these players? And um, let's see what happens. Let's talk about everything. And yeah, starting with the squad, it's a very youthful squad. So I'm not going to go through all the 29 name um star of the squad. Let's go through the first team players that are in that 29 man squad. Starting with goalkeepers, we have Tom Hitting and Andre Onana. Of course, no issues with Tom Hitting and Andre Onana. They are both here to stay. Radek Vitek, our young um, goalkeeper, still here, probably could have gone on loan. Um, but let's see what happens. He's part of that 24 man, 29 man squad. Then for defenders, we have Amas, Johnny Evans, Will Fish, Victor Lindelof, Harry Maguire, Sam Mori, Aaron Ambisaka, and Lenny Euro. For the defenders, how won't we supposed to sell Victor Lindelof? I thought this week was going to be the week of all selling players. Why are we taking Victor Lindelof to the preseason? Why are we taking Wambisaka to preseason? Why are we even taking Aaron Maguire to preseason? Okay, I, I might understand Aaron Maguire because he might not leave. But with Victor Lindelof is highly likely to leave. Why are we taking these players to preseason? Why not leave them with um encouraging with with them so with the coaches that are going to be there and let them train by themselves and push for their move out of the club? Look at what Chalob and um, Chelsea are doing to Chaloba. Chelsea tell told Chaloba we're not taking it to the preseason. Stay back, train and push and look for club a club that you go to. We're not taking it to preseason. We, we have no plans for you. Same things for this player. But I understand that most of these players are under a lot of salary. So we might not be able to sell them. We might not be able to sell them. And if we're not able, if we're not able to sell them, not giving them the preseason will not be will be a bad idea, right? So Lindelof is there, Maguire is there, Leniero and Eroma Bissaka for our defenders, also Johnny Evans. And then for midfielders, we have Casemiro, Toby Coyla, Christian Eriksen, Hannibal, Jack Fletcher, Sam Mata, Scott McTominay, Messi Mount, Max Oyedele, and James Callon. My problem now is Casemiro is there, Eriksen is there, Hannibal is there. We are supposed to be looking at selling Hannibal. I think Hannibal, Hannibal's time at the club is over. He has had, he has been, Hannibal has been in the first, in the first team squad for a long time. And it does seem that he doesn't really have what it takes to be a regular starter for those clubs. I don't know why Hannibal is still here. Hannibal should be push, pushing for a move. Christian Eriksen has one year left on his contract. Although a report came out this today that Ajax are looking to take Eriksen on loan. But he has one year left on his contract. Why would we agree to loaning him out? That's like a free transfer, right? We're supposed to be sending him. And no matter how small, how much the fee will be, we're supposed to be sending him because he has just one year left on his contract. So I don't understand why Eriksen is still part of this squad. He's supposed to stay back with the players that are going to return next week or next two weeks and train with them until we are back and push for a move. Eriksen, I don't know why Eriksen is here. Casemiro is... Is in his squad. Probably we might, not, we might not even be able to sell Casemiro, but time will tell. But Casemiro is here. Scott McTominay is also is here. Even though there are links that Fulham are about to make a second bid for for uh, McTominay, but according to the report, some say McTominay is not for sale. United don't want to sell him. Uh, Rick Tenag has come out and say I want to keep uh, McTominay. He's a val valuable player of my for my team. So will he go? Will he stay? We do not know. I think. If good offer, good offer offers come for him, then he might stay. He might go rather. But if that doesn't happen, maybe we we'll look at keeping him. Then for Messi Mount is also there. No problems. No problems with Messi Mount. And yeah, that's it for the midfielders, right? And then for the forwards, we have Anthony, Ahmad, Hoyland, Rashford, Sancho, and Whitley. For Anthony, I've said it before. It will be very difficult to say Anthony. So I don't think Anthony is going anywhere. Is here to stay. Um, Ahmad also. I hope he have a fantastic season, fantastic, fantastic time in the USA mm -hmm. and prove to us that he can be a part of our first team squad regularly. Mm -hmm. Hoyland is there. Rashford is there. Sancho. What is the deal with Sancho? PSG are interested. Juventus are interested. Dortmund are interested. Will he stay? Will he go? We do not know for Sancho, but he's part of the squad, and I totally agree with that. Let's let's keep on. Let's continue. Um, with that, there's no uh, totally no problem. Then also, the report says that Steve McLaren, you know Steve McLaren, one of Ten Hag's former assistant managers who is now a first-team coach. Steve McLaren will stay at Carrington to coach Man United's Euro 24 Stratch Copa America players on return. 
um, could be minus Luke Shaw, Lisandro Martinez, Ganacho, Bruno Fernandez, Dalo, Joshua Zexi, and Facundo Pelestri are going to be back from next week, right? So, um, Steve McLaren will stay back to coach these players when they come back to training because we're going to be in America for the next two weeks, so we need someone to stay back. So, when the, when Bruno Fernandez return and all other players return from the holidays, they would have a coach that they can train with, and that would be Steve McLaren. And according to the report, also, he says that uh, Omar Berada, Jason Wilcox, um, Dana Schwartz will all travel with um, the squad to the USA um, as they are all they are trying to get used to working and helping Eric Ten Hag um, with, and his staff, right? So the executives are going to travel to um, the main executive, the main executive are going to travel to LA, to the USA with Eric Ten Hag and his squad to support them, give them support and, and the rest. And to get used to the environment around the players and the managers and the squad and then others will may, remain behind to negotiate transfers uh incomings and outgoings and the rest so it just means that we probably will still be active for um doing business even if we're on tour but how 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 easy would that be i'm going to try to sell sancho erickson scott mctominay wambi saka why they're on the tour does that mean that if a deal gets struck for someone like wambi saka he will travel from the usa down to uh, the uk to complete that move which is very very possible i understand but i don't but don't you think if we are close to selling these players don't you think it's better for them to stay behind instead of because they could go to the precision and get injured we might be trying to sell for, for, uh, scott mctominay now he travels to the to the to usa and gets injured and that deal gets cancelled right so i don't think that's probably the best of ideas but that's what they are choosing to do and there's nothing we can do about that let's talk about some transfer news because according to fabrizio romano he says that United have had some conversations with Monaco to understand the availability of players like Yusuf Fofana and Van der Sien. But internally, the name means United are discussing for in the midfield position are Manuel Gatte and Sofiane Amrabat. And according to Simon Stone, he says talks between United and Bayern Munich for the elite have failed to reach a positive conclusion. The elite and United deal is a stalled. That would be revived when we are when we able to sell players and for that position but then in the midfield position we're still talking with um psg but there is no conclusion yet we're looking at for uh, of um of um monaco i think he's a he's a six a defensive midfielder um but we are just asking around right and we also like van der Sien. i think van der Sien is a right back um, but we know that in the right back position right now we are looking at mazarawi um if west, west ham are interested in mazarawi too but west ham wants to sign Wamisaka, if Wamisaka goes to West Ham, then when I look at Sanim was Mazarawi. So most deals we are trying to conclude now depends on outgoings. If we can sell players, we we'll move for this other player. So I don't even really want to talk about incomings like Ugate and Delete now because it all depends on being able to sell players. If we sell in the love, if we sell Wamisaka, then we can talk about bringing in um, new players. If you think about it, have we have we ever even even done anything special in the, in, the, in the summer transfer window yet? If you think about it properly, I don't think we have done anything special because the player who left Varan Varan left because his, his contract because we are not willing to give him extend his contract right. He left on a free, so that's nothing special. We didn't do anything special there. Um, Greenwood left because of the controversy. There was nothing special about Greenwood leaving. Not like we did a master stroke, right? And then look at it. Also, Masha left. Also, Masha left for free, right? Masha left for free. There was nothing special about that. The two incomings we have done is Lenny Yoru. Of course, we lost Varan. Yoru is just like a Varan replacement. Nothing special about that, right? It's just very easy to do that. I agree. We did a very good job negotiating, but it was very easy to do that. The, the money was available. We have done it. Then for um for Joshua Zexi, Marshall left. We needed a replacement for for Marshall because we can't have only Zexi as our only um striker. We did the Zexi. We can't have Holland as our only striker. We did we did the Zexi deal very very okay. Now it is the main time because now there's no money left. How do you sell players to bring in new quality players? This is when the issue starts, and now everything is going in slow, slow. The transfer window has stalled. It's now slow. Because this is when the main business is selling to buy. We know that most of these players have stupid wages and it's very difficult to sell them. But this, the Indians group ability to sell these players will determine how good we are in the, in the summer transfer window as a whole. Because right here, right now, we haven't sold anybody that is that needs selling. We haven't sold McTominay, we haven't sold Lindelof, we haven't sold Maguire, we haven't sold Wambisaka, um, we haven't sold 
anybody that we need to we haven't sold anthony we haven't sold sancho and of course we can't sell all of them because they are they are stupid readers and many clubs are not really interested in buying them because they can't offer them they can't offer us what we want and they can't offer them their widgets right but understand but how would we define this transfer window is by selling players so if uh, if in the next two to three weeks we're able to sell lindelof we're able to sell um we're able to sell uh, Wabisaka. Then you get in Mazarawi, you get in Matthias Delit. Then beautiful, you have done you have signed four new players, right? If you can sell Scott McTominay, if you can sell if you can sell Casimiro, then you get Ugate, then maybe you get, you add Amrabat onto that. You have signed six players. It's all that make a lot of sense. Wouldn't that be awesome? So this is gonna be is this summer is gonna be determined by the ability to sell players. Why this is discussing with Ugate and PSG, um other, uh, that that deal is still stolen. But the main thing stalling those deal is the fact that we are yet to sell any player that actually needs selling. And that is the problem. But let's see what happens in the coming days anyway. I can't shout too much. But I'll be patient and see what happens. I will give Ineos my trust and see what they can do with that. But this is, this is the situation the Glazers have put us in. And the, the Ineos are trying to correct that. And it's not all their fault. It's not their, it's not their fault. It is the Glazers' fault. But still yet they need to start repairing this team because um in the next three weeks in next yeah in the next three weeks the Premier League season is open right and how are we able to compete is our first team ready is our backup ready how are we, how are we in so the next one month the summer transfer window is going to end the next five weeks summer transfer window is over and we haven't seen anybody yet with the Kwambala, I just qualified classified as a youth player. He wanted to leave too. So that's how the uh, Kwambala left. He wanted to leave, he left. But players that need to be sold have not yet gone. So what do we do about that? But let's wait, let's give them patience and let's see what happens in the coming weeks. Don't forget this is Die Hard United, the one stop for everything. Manchester United. Like this video, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and I will see you all on the next one. Cheers.